in my last video on the partially squares algorithm I'm going to explain the different weighting schemes. So we have centroid weighting scheme, factor weighting scheme and the path weighting scheme. The question which algorithm to prefer is I think not yet fully answered. So um, what I found in the smart PLS forum and I think is still valid is that first of all the different weighting schemes don't really um, change, uh, have much influence on the on the results. And the other quote by uh, Professor Hensler is that uh, these weighting schemes deserve more attention for PLS re researchers. But to my knowledge, um, there hasn't been any yeah, latest findings that uh, advise for any any of the different weighting schemes. So practically, I leave the weighting scheme to pass weighting scheme all the time I use partial least squares. So um, looking into the, the model we're going to use, it's again the, the complex model from the previous video. I'm only showing you now how the different weighting schemes behave and how you can actually use them in this um, Excel sheet you can download uh, below the video. So um, yeah, we start with the factor weighting scheme because it's the, the easiest formula. Uh, it's always the covariance between related constructs. So um, the co covariance p formula is used here between product and image for the for this relation, and here in this uh, other direction, it's the same formula. Actually, it's not the formula, but the relation to the to the respective field, and it's also the same for all the other for all the other. Uh, fields. So as you can see here, the results from from this uh, are, the, are equal to those that are in this in this field. So um, from lines four to line seven, this is the weighting schemes actually used. And uh, if I wanted to use the factor weighting scheme, I just copy those, and then I paste those, and I paste it as as formulas. And I get the same results here because I already had the pass weighting scheme selected here. The, the centroid weighting scheme is um, very similar to the factor weighting scheme. The only difference is that the outcome is either 1 or minus 1. So um, we take the covariance formula and if it's below 0, then we have... Uh, if it's, sorry, if it's larger than 0, we make the weighting scheme, um, the, the weight 1. And if it's below or equal to zero, we make the weight minus one. And again, into the, the, the other direction, is uh, we take the same value. Now for the path weighting scheme, this is a bit different, because here the, re the direction of the relation matters. And I'm going to show you uh, how it's described in the Lohmüller paper. So here you have the different, three different um, approaches to, to weighting scheme approximation and so what it says here the uh, weighting scheme matrix always is zero only if yg is the source of yg dash then um, you have in the factor weighting scheme as I showed you um, you have the covariance in both directions but in the past weighting scheme if yg is the source of yg dash um, you use the uh, regression value from these two values and um, in the other direction you use the covariance value. So how does this look in the Excel sheet? We have a relation from product to loyalty and in that case we use the regression weight. So we have again this RGP function as it's called in German or the line est function as it's in the English version of Excel and if we look into the uh, other direction, so from loyalty to product, we see that here we use the covariance, and this is the same for um, for all the other um, relations as well. So um, if I wanted to use that scheme, I would have to copy these values and then paste them here as formulas. And of course, if I really wanted to to apply these values, I would have to to start the calculation all over again and just to show you how this works with the sheet again I say okay reset the model then 
and jump um, at the front so all the values are set to one as it's the initial setting I choose. And then I can click on next iteration and get the results calculated and yeah, if I just do it until the very end. And then I see the results um, again on this uh, stage two sheet. Yeah, that's basically the, the differences between the three rating schemes. And uh, at the bottom in the description, you'll also find the original source uh, from the Lohmüller paper.